tie a long resistance band somewhere secure. Then from there, you want to make sure that resistance band is in line with your um, chest or kind of bottom of the rib cage. Take a few steps out to the side. Then from there, you're going to perform your pull off press and then into a rotation. So your rotation is essentially a pivot. You're going to pivot on your back foot and rotate away from um, that back foot. As you pivot, make sure you're exhaling and then coming back to your start position. The start position when your hands are out in front of you, that is going to be the hardest point, believe it or not. So once you've rotated and you come back to your arms out extended in front of you, you really want to make sure that your hips are square and you're keeping yourself nice and secure. We don't want the to allow the band to kind of rotate us back towards the anchor point, okay? So keep repeating the repetition. So you do a pull of press, rotation, come back in, press out again to the pull of press, rotation. And then once you've done as many reps as I've I've prescribed either side, you are done. I want you to think about your midline as like a corkscrew here. I'm really focusing on power. This is a powerful movement. So as you rotate, really think about pivoting on that back foot and aggressively twisting, corkscrewing from the midline of your body to rotate to away from your foot. Okay, so it's a powerful movement. It's an explosive movement. And we really need to focus on controlling that core, not allowing the band to kind of pull us here or there. We're in control of the band.